Hey guys, it's Bree from WRSU, Rutgers Radio. Uh, I'm here with Calvin from the Happy Pits, and we're so excited yeah. to uh, be back here because it's been a minute. It's uh, been a minute. I'm Calvin. I'm from the Happy Pits. I'm here with Bree from WRSU. And what do you play? I play cello. I used to play electric cello, but yeah, me and Bree go way back. This has been a while. Can you sum up 2019 in three words? Okay, um, oh, jeez, <laughs> oh, no, okay, uh, let's do, um, work hard, play, I don't know if we've been playing hard, but we've definitely been working hard and playing, so that's, those are my three words. Yeah, you can't play too hard, because, yeah, 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 you'll hurt yourself, so, is it hard to keep up with, like, that balance when you're on the road? Yes, I'd say, I mean, on the road, all we do is, like, eat fast food. So, like, physically, your body just goes to complete garbage. But playing shows, like, every day of the week, there was one stretch where we did, I think, seven shows in six days. Like, you just get so good at doing the set. And it's, like, you, yeah, it's crazy to see how much you grow from the start of the tour to the end of the tour. Like, not only as musicians, but as people. Like, every tour is just a different, like, just like a different trip. I was actually interning in LA this summer, and I met a girl from Florida, or she went to school in Florida, and she was going to do her final project on you guys. And so what is it like kind of having these, like, college fan bases and people that come out to your shows and, and know all the words uh, everywhere? Yeah. It's, it, like, when it first started happening, like, it's like a smaller scale in New Jersey than our first piece of show ever. You yeah. were there, I think, at the laundromat. Yes, Hashtag I was. R.I.P. Um, yeah, like, that was crazy for us. It's so crazy now. Like, we haven't played a show in, like, two, three months or something like that. And, like, I know when we go out there tonight, it's just going to be more money. Because, like, you forget so easily, like, that these songs that you think of for, like, years, like, Years, literally, at LA, and when you hear people saying it back, it's just, there's no feeling like it, really. And like, <laughs> whether you're in New Jersey or LA, people singing songs that you wrote while you're in your bed, like, it's, it's the same. <laughs> um, have you, when was the last time you wrote a song? Last time. I think it was last week I finished a demo called Move It, and yeah, I would definitely show up. I would love to hear that. Um, when can the people hear it? Uh, I think we're recording in February. And then singles March, April, May, and then full album release June. Wow. So you guys are like on a little break right now from touring and mostly just focusing on the music? or Yeah. I've been hardcore going at like Logic and like our manager, he's a, uh, or he does own a record. No, not record. Like a studio. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's, been, he's been letting me some microphones and I've been just like practicing my like, mic placement and like work. Cool. And uh, where where does this all go down? Is this mostly like you guys are all s- still kind of based in Jersey or I think we talked about this briefly, but like, um, is that like where we're going to in New Jersey? Yeah, right now we're in the farms in New Jersey, so Pitts Town. It's basically Pennsylvania. It's not like Newark or Elizabeth or like Hoboken. Most people think of the community. It's like the farms. It's in the total middle of nowhere. And um, yeah, that's where it's all happening right now. We're planning May 1st after our tour that's coming out tour. Right? We're going on a oh. tour with someone really big. I'll tell you when the cameras are rolling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, in March and April. Um, and then after that tour, we're planning to go on a new video. Yeah. Oh, wow. No that idea. Makes, makes sense. Where. Yeah, it might be <laughs> South Jersey towards Philly. Or it might be over here to Asbury Park, or it might be up north in Polo. Oh, you guys said in a recent interview, or I don't know how recent it was, but it aired recently, and you said that you were kind of stuck in this fruit phase, and yeah. you didn't really know like what was going to be next. But now that you've been working on the new music, do you think that the fruit phase is going to remain, or are you going to break out of that now? I literally, if you were to read the text messages between us and our management, like. It is, we're totally divided. We're as divided as America is now. You know, we, we're in our, our, we have no idea what we're going to do. <laughs> we, 
we can go to priests or we can go to real priests. And like, I honestly, it doesn't even matter what we do. It's gonna be fun no matter what. But yeah, priests right now they seem to like. It's fun for like new fans, but also for me, it's like there's not a lot of like personal meaning behind the priests and like why we do it. We do it because it's fun and it's like playful, but it's not like a lot of personal meaning, you know. Yeah. So with this next album, like a lot of the songs are gonna be like really personal. So I'd like us to move kind of in that direction, or I'd like us to say like bottom of the fruits. I'm really happy with anything that we do. That's <laughs> good. <laughs> I was thinking you could change your name to the Happy Pits or to yeah, right? the Peeling Fits. Yeah, that would work. <laughs> We should. Why not? We should just change our names to the oranges, honestly. Like, At this point, like yeah, you're absolutely. like you just nickname each other like apple, banana, orange and Yeah. We dug a hole that we really can't escape from at this point. <laughs> Everyone has a banana at home. A happy fits banana. Um so I was thinking too, you guys take a lot of influences from like larger indie rock bands. Is the camera okay? That out. Uh, take influences from a lot of the larger, like early 2000 or 2010 indie rock bands, and then you have like your you still stay true to your roots, and you play like these big local shows, and it, they're just getting bigger. And so now it's like you kind of have this like middle ground area, and I don't know if you see that, but like you're kind of in between like this to me at least. You're in between this very indie rock like local scene and the and the mainstream like indie rock band. So where do you think you're going next? Are you gonna stay there? Are you think yeah. you're gonna try to like break into more like the radio? Yeah, I, well, as we've been doing this far, we've only been doing it for three and a half years. Like we realize the more we do it, we learn more, but we also realize that we know less. So as we grow bigger, we realize how much game there is to play in the music industry. And that's why we're, I, we're just really lucky to have the management that we do yeah. because they have so much experience in the game of the music industry. And, um, they believe in our music as much as we do, and they're fighting for us as much as, as, much as I do. You know, as much as I was fighting for our music before they came along, they came along and they kind of pointed out all the flaws in our, in our projection. And they've kind of, they're shooting us along the right path. So, I think it's really the right question. No, that sounds great. <laughs> yeah. That's good that you have management that cares about you and is fighting for you. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, no, you did. And, um, okay, so just to finish off the interview, what can people expect in the new year? It's 2020. You guys have been a band for almost four years. Yeah. Um, oh, God, that's so a long. tour, you said. New music, yeah. maybe. New music. And, I mean, um, we, are, we are in it to win it. So, like, I... I can't imagine going back to like what life was before getting in a van. I don't think that guys could either. Like we are definitely gonna be doing this for at least a decade. So, <laughs> so do you feel like? Because you were in school before this, and yeah. So now you're you're full time in the van. Like, could you see your journey go? Like, like what is that like? Like you you just one day you decided to join. Or not yeah. to join, but to, to pursue this full time. So yeah, like it's it's funny because when I did decide to like pursue this full time, I didn't really see all of the the moving parts that were going to be like involved with that decision. You know, now that you know, I'm 21 and we're starting to have to move out of our parents' house and like fend for ourselves, it's a totally different perspective than where I was three and a half years ago. But I. No, I love writing and I love playing and I love being with the guys and you guys supposedly love being with me. <laughs> and, um, yeah. yeah. And I, I just know that this is this is something that yeah, my life this is this is what I was born on this earth to do. Yeah. This. This is the the timing was right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, thank you so much, Calvin, for joining yeah. us. Uh, so yeah, you guys heard it here. The happy fits. 2020 is their year, and we can't wait to hear more from them and play them on WRSU. So, yeah, thanks, man.
You know, you should just uh, plug WRSU into one of your songs, Mary. We should, right? It rhymes with a lot of stuff. Like, I was listening to WRSU the other day. Chewing, eating some, chewing food. Yeah. I was eating chewy I, I food. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.